The long, quiet halls of Buffalo's Central Terminal, once filled with rumbling trains, was filled with music. And Culture Saturday for the East Side Festival. We wanted to come to see the Central Terminal, hadn't seen the inside of it. Uh, like I said, I was born and raised here, but never saw the inside before. Know about all of the renovations that are being done, and we were excited about the program that was being put on, especially the music. This festival didn't only celebrate the east side of Buffalo, but the 90 year anniversary of Central Terminal's opening. What was it like riding the train through here? Oh, it was wonderful. 5,000 people enjoyed performances from music acts like George Scott Big Band, dancing and food. With the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra is the marquee act. I'm enjoying myself today. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. And as enjoyable as this day was, the people who put this event together say there's a deeper meaning behind it than just having fun. This is an opportunity for us to showcase the best of Buffalo, the amazing cultures, the amazing ethnicities, the amazing diversity that makes Buffalo so special. It's the reason why the co-chairs of both BPO's Diversity Council and the East Side Festival put this all together. The East Side community is blessed with so many different cultural institutions in here, so it was just a blessing to see, you know, the Polish community, the German community, and the African American community come together and celebrate together. Celebration organizers say they hope to do again next year. In Buffalo, Gilat Malamud, 7 Eyewitness News. What a party. Coming up next on 7 Eyewitness News at 11, get your appetites ready because it is time for the Taste of Buffalo. And it's an event that caters to people who love both beer and their furry four-legged friends. Stay right here. You're watching 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Do you have a tip for the 7 Eyewitness News I-Team? Call the I-Team tip line at 840-7750 or email I-Team at WKBW.com. You're watching 7 Eyewitness News with Jeff Rusak and 7 First Alert Meteorologist Michelle McLeod. You need to get your napkins and your taste buds ready. Niagara Square and Delaware Avenue are going to be packed with people this weekend. Of course, it's the 2019 edition of Taste of Buffalo. Dozens of restaurants and food trucks are serving up their favorite dishes for you to sample. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proyer had her way with the whole entire Taste of Buffalo today. She is checking it out for us. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Welcome to the Taste of Buffalo. Day one of the two-day festival bringing thousands to downtown. Just enjoying the sunshine, just serving the public what they want. To enjoy all types of cuisine from all over the world. Tons, tons. We had cheesecake, we had Indian food. Right in the heart of Buffalo. Seek things that are indifferent. And that's what we are. Which is exactly what I did today. I dined around the world, but only traveled about three blocks. Heading first to Jamaica for some award-winning jerk chicken at Caribbean Experience. What jerk chicken is very unique and cannot be duplicated. Next to Schnitzel and Company for some German dishes. The homemade pretzels flying off the grill. Thank you very much. You're welcome. From Europe to Asia, specifically Southern Thailand, there's delicious Pad Thai at Taste of Siam. Recipes is about eight generation. Everything is made from scratch. Just like you see here, we cook on site. Then to India Gate for juicy tandoori chicken, or a few steps over to Niagara Cafe to snag some Puerto Rican Spanish food. Uh, tostones, uh, sweet plantain, maduros, everybody, everybody wants the recipe. <laughs> they don't like it, they want the recipe. Then Italian food, pasta visual and penny alla vodka at Carmine's. Because we're the best in town. I mean, it's that simple. <laughs> I mean, you can try the rest, but you gotta come try the best. And of course, you can always find your buffalo